evening, everybody. Um, I need to start off by saying happy Ostara. Uh, happy Easter to those who do Easter. Um, I'm here tonight to speak about Summer Wells. Originally, I wasn't going to do this. Um, this is not going to be a spirit session. This is going to be more of a what come, came across to me and why I'm deciding to uh, just, just to have viewed the video itself. I viewed the video plenty of times and things did come through. But I also, it was very heavy on my heart for a while because so many people have asked me to do this this case. And as I told them before, I'm currently working a case. Um, I don't get things mixed up and viewed so my cases don't get mixed up. I mean, but after you work with a spirit so long, you know what's what and what's not. Um, I asked the universe to please send me a a sign of some sort you know because it weigh, it's been weighing on my heart so heavy and I asked the universe to please just let me know you know should I speak about it should I should I speak on Summer's behalf because I know things that happened to her that um, need to be said um, but I've been kind of holding back from it because the current case I'm on you know what I mean um, like I said this is not a this is not a spirit session um, this is just what came through uh, with the video that a lot of people have sent me and asking the universe to send me some sort of sign and signal of what you know for summer and oddly you know, I spend I spend time with my 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 sister once a week, and we talk about everything and anything. We speak about our craft. We speak about my workings. We speak about anything and anything personal. We we speak about laughter. We speak you know, anything. Um, but the last few weeks we haven't really touched base on any of that except for just enjoying. Um, just enjoying our time and talking about things that, you know, just are not of our usual. And last night, she oddly had said to me, did I do the case of Summer Wells? And I had said no, but hold on, I'm, I'm just getting a word and I'm trying to write it down. Um, this could just, this is just, you know, a random word this is coming through um, okay. if you can hear my radio I apologize I just have to, when I'm outside alone at nighttime I have a little uh, I have to have a little background noise to keep me from peering peering around me outside because when I get when I'm out at night excuse me from straying away from the video Sometimes I know when there's a predator in the area because I get this certain feel to my body. And this could be could be an animal, it could be a human. But most of the time it's a person that um, break into a car, sexually assault somebody. So I'm very well equipped. I have my, my, my mace and other my other weapons that I have with me. Um, I do not have my gun. No, I don't have a gun. Uh, but the point is, is when I'm out alone, you know, I have to be equipped to be able to protect myself because you just don't know what's around when you get that feeling. So back to what I was saying. My sister had, you know, oddly had spoke on Summer Wells and did I do the case and what I had thought about it. Um... Now she does not do um, any any videos or anything like that, or or uh, she doesn't work with the energies of, of past ones. She does have that gift. She just chooses not to. Um, she was 
going to carry a job of profiling serial killers, but her and her husband made a choice when their son came not to take that risk. And that's also a reason why I don't work with serial killer cases because they can be super dangerous. Very dangerous for you, your family. Uh, mentally for me, I cannot be equipped to mentally handle a serial killer case. It does a lot to your body. So anyways, uh, back to what I was saying. I had thought how weird that she asked me that because I had literally just asked the universe, what should I do? Should I speak on her behalf? Should I not? And it's been heavy on my heart for a while now. She's been missing for a while. When I say missing, I mean from the public eye. That's what I'm trying to say here. I mean, this is not a random... This is not a random kill. This is not a random kidnapping. No matter what's being said on the behalf of the parents and whatever they want to say, you know, it, it's not that type of deal. It's, it's definitely not that type of deal. Um, so I decided to speak tonight on behalf of Summer Wells and her bright little smile me being a mother, people that I work with, people that I've worked for who have lost loved ones, understand, will understand. Um, this is not something that I'm going to repetitively do. Um, this was, this is just one thing that I need to speak on at this just a given time. It's not something that I'm going to work on and work on and work on, no. Um, because what's going to happen is the the uh, police department uh, is either going to find her or they're not going to find her and that's all I can say about it because at the end of the day the parents are very uh, I feel like they would have done they seem very they seem very um, like they don't know what they're doing People portray them as very poorly, um, poorly thinking people when really they've, they've thought about this. They've, uh, uh, I don't want to say they planned it. No, I don't mean it like that. Um, yes, definitely. I just wish they would come clean of what happened because this is not um, this is not something that they planned ahead of time to kill her on purpose. So being that it should be brought to light and, and, and the parents need to come clean and the grandmother needs to clean her conscience. It, it's really horrible that that little girl that that little girl is out there and what they've done you, you clearly I'm trying to put into words here before I get to it um, this little girl had such light in her soul and the sad part was how she lived um, there wasn't there wasn't that bond that, that molding to her children can take to love they can take to abuse and still in some way know how to survive and still try to find that happy moment and for Summer Wells that was her um, <clears throat> she had very to me she had very poor hygiene uh, very poor upbringing um, in a way that meant that means um, she would have head lice a lot. 
she would have um, no hugs, no kisses from mom. Um, it just, it just wouldn't be the upbringing that most people like you or I would have, and. But even through all of that, she strived to be that happy little girl, no matter what. She was like a shell. She absorbed, she took it in. And she still tried to live the most she could, even though at the end, it was gonna end up this way because of the poor, uh, the poor lifestyle and the poor life skills that the parents had. Um, when I saw the video of this, this little girl, so when I saw the video, I've had about 50 people, at least 50 to 60 people, send me this video, this little, whatever this little clip is of her in the back seat. Um, <clears throat> I will describe it to you, but I also will tell you why I do believe why the mother took that video. I will start off with why I believe the mother took that video. And one, I will state this. I do believe that Summer Wells was dead in the back of that seat of the vehicle. Um, I'm trying to hear because because somebody's speaking to me about uh, somebody's speaking to me about this little girl. Um, to me, it would be a figure. A male figure to me this is a male figure from her um, I would say her father's side um, whoever this male is would be a relative of hers um, and giving me information back when you have a little child, usually a loved one will come for them and they will usually, regardless of the circumstances, most of the times for the little children, some of them do stay, a lot of them don't understand. Some of them go back with the loved ones and I feel like this I feel like this this gentleman is possibly um, a grandfather or a great grandfather. To me, I get the elder feeling. <sighs> yes. Okay. And now I have her whole name being spoken. Um, one, I will state she was not alive in the back seat of that that vehicle. I'm going to say vehicle because I don't know exactly what type of vehicle this was that she was driving was it a was it a pickup truck was it some sort of SUV um, it was but I will tell you she was not alive in that back seat of the car I knew from the moment that I saw that video she was not alive um, and my sister and I went over that video again last night and I pointed out to her the energy field that came off of in that video as well as I pointed out to the way she was propped up to the way um, her fingers were like this if you pay attention to the video when a child sleeps they will twitch in some way they will their eyes will you will see movement under the eyelids but you also I want you to pay attention to the eyelids because the eyelids, her eyelids were very flat. Now, when a person is alive, 
their eyelids not only have movement, but they also have a um, a formation under the under the eyelid to where um, you have more shape and definition to it. Her eyelids did not have any definition to it. The color to me was very distinctively off. I've seen. Um, I will say this because I can share this with you guys. My nephew, he died eight years old of cancer. I've seen a passed on child before and she had the same look to her eyes. They seemed very hooded and very just, you can tell somebody had closed her eyes and set her, it was very distinctive to me. Um, not only that, but you had a box here. You had a, you had milk jugs here. No child will sit on milk jugs with their head and not move in a and in the back seat of a vehicle. They will move in some way. They will um, their fingers will twitch or jump or it'll become very uncomfortable very quickly for the side of their head um, and. And, and furthermore, why would you put milk jugs and a box on that side of on that side of the door? She was seat belted in, so why wouldn't you just let her lay flat on the seat, even if she was buckled in? You could have put all of that stuff on the opposite side and place it on the floor, not to prop her up. What parent would prop their child up with cold milk? Because I'm going to give you an answer to that. So if anybody was to approach the vehicle and said, hey, and call out to her or touch her body in some way to, you know, maybe touch her cheek out of love, she would be cold. So that would say, oh, that's from the milk. It's keeping her cool. It's keeping her cold. There was a reason why that milk was there. Milk can be very cold to the touch when you, when you lay on it. Um, Say if you have groceries in the back seat and you happen to do lay on a milk jug or your child does doze off, your child is going to quickly wake up and feel that uncomfortable numbness to their face. They're not going to stay asleep when you're in your bed and you're warm under that blanket. Because you're under a blanket, you may have that extra, oh, I'm cozy, I'm not going to... You know that cold feeling I might be cold here but being that she's so tiny in weight she had a jacket on you have her sleeping on milk jugs my thing about that is she would have moved in some way she would have jerked in some way and the fact that even her bottom lip to me looked off as if it would have um, that was the first thing I noticed was the eye sockets and the, the bottom lip, also the fingers, how they were, um, when you sleep, um, when you sleep, your hands usually are relaxed in a, in a manner that, um, I sleep with, I sleep with my, either my hands closed, or I sleep with maybe my one hand open across, um, uh, Pay attention to your children tonight, just, just for a case study. When they sleep, how do they sleep with their hands? Pay attention to their hands. Look at their eye sockets. Their eyes move underneath their eye sockets when they dream. When you dream, your eye sockets move. They move back and forth. When you're dreaming or you're sleeping, your mouth is open most of the time. Uh, children sleep with their mouth open or their mouth closed, but when that's so, pay attention to the video. You did not see her take a breath. You did not see her uh, twitch her hands. There was no movement in the eyes. There was, she was propped up by a box. She was propped up by milk cartons. Um, to me, her lips looked a little off in color. Um, when you see a passed on child, you are very aware 
of what looks wrong in a face of a child. And I had knew right away when I looked in, when looking at that video that that little girl was already gone. And as soon as I viewed that video, um, when I viewed that video once, twice, and then the, you know, the third time with my sister, I really didn't, um, the first time I got right away that she was gone, the second time, and I had some words come through, because I can just, um, channel energy through looking at things, I can look at a picture, a random picture, and I can write things about that picture, what comes through, and for her, when I got the very first time, The very first time I got was the word rock. Um, I think that this was a death um, in two ways. I do believe that The mother was so careless that her daughter drowned and had her head on a rock or had her head on a rock and drowned or out of fit of anger was hit in the head with a rock. Do I, my thought process is I do believe that, I do believe that she was, that she, she hit her head and she drowned. Um, that's this is what I feel um, but I feel because how I feel is she was killed but she was neglected because they weren't paying attention to her and that kind of neglect is punishable by law by not caring for her by not paying attention to her by you know, you leave your daughter in the water, you take off, you do what you want. You're doing what you want over in some other place. Um, um, I will read off the words that are coming through as I'm speaking. Um, I'm not, like I said, I'm not doing a spirit session. These are just words when I, from my spirit guides, from from this elderly gentleman here that is speaking of her. I'm getting her full name. Um, but I'm also getting strange things too, um, which would lead me into the second conclusion. Um, and I also, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to hear So my second, my first was accidental drowning by hitting her head on a rock and, and drowning. And they were so caught up in what they were doing because they really didn't care what she was doing. They found her and she was already gone by the time they came back and, you know, just fooling around with what they were doing. Second was the, someone probably hit her in the head with a rock. It could have been out of anger. It could have been out of... I'm gonna say, I, I, I'm gonna say, um, I'm not too sure why. It's almost like a predatorial feeling, as if someone else was there, um, a, a male. Um, do we know if something happened to her sexually? I don't know that part because I'm not gonna interact with that in order to to know about that part. Um, but I have like a predatorial feel tonight and it was, I think it could be coming from this, but 
uh, when trying to figure that part out, it's hard because I'm trying to do this and pay attention to my surroundings because when the feeling gets deeper and deeper into my stomach, this whoever this predator around here, this could be around my neighborhood, is closer and closer. So I keep looking up and trying to listen because I will get some type of warning from my spirit guide. Um, now I'm going to read to you what I have on this paper. But again, the first time I saw the video, I did get uh, rock. And when I had saw that video, as you can see, you don't see any distinctive marks really on her head. And that could also be the reason why Mother Dearest has her laying on the ice of the ice cold milk. Because if she might have hit her head here, there might be some sort of swelling here. And she could have, in some way, you know, for the swelling, the ice, the cold ice, would keep the swelling on the side of the face covered pretty good. Um, to me, this side of the face did look a little different in shape towards her temple area. Um, so that was one of the biggest things I noticed, but also that her hands were in a way that um, when children sleep, pay attention to their fingers. No matter how involuntary they are, your child will always move in their sleep. It could be the tiniest little jiggle. It could be a uh, tiniest little movement of the head, a twitch of the leg, but the hands always move the most. In that video, I saw a lifeless little girl. I did not see that body move. I did not see that body breathe. I didn't see, when you go over a bump, pay attention to her and the mother in the front seat. Um, by looking at the video, I'm not sure if I saw her, her leg jiggle, um, involuntary from going over the bump. But if you pay attention, that little girl in the back seat does not move. She does not twitch. She, her eye sockets are not moving. Um, I'm going to demonstrate by what I mean by that. If I look foolish, please excuse me. So you're going to close your eyes. And in, in, in a person that sleeps, if you could see my eyes doing that, you'll understand what I mean. The eye sockets will move and back and forth because that is going into dream state. The fingers will twitch just the little tiniest bit. In any, even if it's just one finger or two fingers, or it could just be the jiggle of the wrist. It could be the jiggle of the neck. Uh, your child, and if you don't believe me in that way of how I'm trying to explain, just do a random case study. It could be your husband, it could be your wife, it could be your child. Children do tend to move more because they, they uh, their dream state, it's easier for them to go into the alpha dream state. It's very easy for them to fall asleep. Adults have a longer time of going to sleep. Pay attention to the movement of the fingers. To the, of the body, the eye sockets, the lips. Sometimes the lips will move, but there was zero of any of that when that little girl was in the back seat. So I do feel she either hit her head on the rock, and that's why they had all that milk propped up on the side of her, so you couldn't see the swelling of her head. All right, thank you. I'm getting the word gash. So I'm going to read off some of these words also as well. Um, some of these could be for her, some of these might not. These could be just random people following over. Um, the male figure that came over, he is an elder gentleman, so to me he's an older man. He would have passed on, he could be a grandfather or a great grandfather. Um, I have the word bring Jane. I have the word summer. I have also the word follow. I have the word face, accidental, buried, uh, bleak, summer wells, hold onto, uh, gash, 
kill, also the word pull. Um, and there are other words that had been said as I was trying to listen, speak, and pay attention to my surroundings. But I will get back to the mother. She's the mother and grandmother made that video as a, a sort of a proof that that little girl had been in their presence. Oh, look, we were on our way home. She was alive. She was with me. But little does she know that I'm being told I really don't like to use this word, though. Can we come up with a different word? Come to an end, sadly. That little girl was not by any means alive in that back seat. She was not alive. There was a reason why she was propped up. There was a reason why she was on cold milk. Again, pay attention to the video. You won't see her twitch. You will not see her uh, eye sockets move back and forth. Um, you will not see any uh, joints jerk. Um, even to look at her uncomfortably, uh, you will not see her uncomfortably move from the coldness to her body. No child can sit on cold milk comfortably in their sleep and not move. Even, even, even just a twitch, not even one twitch. There is no inv involuntary spasm. That's what they call it in your sleep. Um, so the reason why she made that video was to say, hey, look, look at that. I do believe that, God forbid, they, if she had dr drank off someone's alcoholic beverage and that may have made her tipsy a little bit um, and, and alcohol influenced in any way. Um, but I will say this. One, being the grandmother, took her, drove her, and helped the parents hide her body. They did it in a certain way to, one here made the call, another, they made the call, but the, to me, the grandmother would have been gone for some time, and she would have gotten rid of Summer so that they could make the call and make it look like a kidnapping. And... For me, the grandmother would have been the one um, I'm almost being told like there will be something that she's buried with, um, some sort of clothing. I don't want to say it's clothing. I feel like it's some sort of a, is it a I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that they're trying to show me a blanket. Um, something pink. She would have something pink. But I'm getting the word buried. I'm also getting a, little, a word with an F, almost like the word float. I'm not sure if I heard that, though. I want to say there's was a different word. Um, so I do believe mom and dad made the call in some way, and the grandmother took her and hit her. This way, everything they thought of at that moment, they had to make it quick. They had to make it happen quickly um, because Summer was going to end up at some point having to be ported, reported missing but they wanted to do it quickly and then do, they had that A, B, C, D, E, F, G up, all planned up. And I guess you could say like an alphabetical order. Mom, grandma goes, hides the body. Mom and dad make the call. What do you mean emotion? I'm, I'm, this, this man would to me, um, he would have a mustache. Um, he is an older man, and he's telling me they did it with zero emotion. He says no emotion at all, and that's my signal and my sign for they didn't care. They didn't care. They wanted to get rid of it. 
he says they wanted to get as they put it these are he's repeating words back to me that they said they wanted as they put it get rid of it get rid of her quickly and then make it a show make it a um, as if it was some he's saying the word tear I guess he's trying to tell me they acted as if they cared in some way trying to make people tear up for her almost like a tearjerker but he, this man is telling me they didn't care they didn't care And being shown some things. Um, I'm being shown a um, a bike tire, but this part of uh, but I'm not seeing the back tire. I'm seeing the front tire, and it looks to be on the ground as if it's just like a. I don't want to say even a bike that you could even that you could even ride. I feel like it would be a part of a bike that. An old junk bike. Pain. Take back. Mom and dad, no. just wanted to put this video out because after speaking with my sister yesterday that was my cue that the universe wanted me to put this out on her behalf because someone had to speak up for her and this 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 gentleman here he's not happy at all about it he's Telling people to find her. He obviously cares about this little girl. So I'm wondering if it was a grandfather she never met. Um, it could be an ancestor of hers in some way. Um... I'm sorry, I had just saw something come across to the front of me here. Um, I do believe this, to me, this is a great, this is a grandfather or a great-grandfather. He has a mustache and some hair here. It's, it's not a lot here. It's just almost just like a man that went bald, but he, he kept some of his hair. Like an older gentleman. Um... Hear the word father. So I'm assuming grandfather. He was basically telling me that they're putting on a show to make people think that they really care. And all the while, mom and dad made the phone call. The grandmother took her and hit her before anybody could um, there would have been hours in between um, this was when the initial when the initial thing happened that's when the, the quick planning had to come a lot of people see them as these not bright thinking people but they were quick on their feet to come up with something very quickly so they don't get caught which is awful because they were off doing their thing and some are drowned. Um, whether she hit her head on a rock or somebody hit her or sometimes I, I'm, I'm being told words and sometimes they're into the like, like, um, Maddox, for example, the case I did with Maddox. 
rich. Um, things weren't done, sadly, and Maddox lost his life. Uh, for his child, the child wasn't being paid attention to, and there are other things that came up, but it's almost like that, not paying attention to your child, and unfortunately you didn't care enough to pay attention that your child was in water and sadly summer is gone um but it was also a careless this would have been a form of neglect a form of child abuse you're off to me i see this woman um i see her almost like she would have been drinking something do I can I see what no I to me it's like almost like a can of something uh, okay beer I'm being told beer and I mean hands are like this being told me no 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 so she was drinking some sort of beverage but to me she would have been with other people almost maybe like another person or I don't know what they're trying to tell me if it was a male and a female with the mother there was more than there was a person with the mother either she, he this person is telling me a male and female with the mother or just a male or a female where I heard the word um, almost like the word Brock if I if I'm if I'm saying it right I, I'm not too sure I'm trying very hard not to make this into a session that will and so that's how one of the possible ways summer could have died hit her head on a rock and she drowned because nobody was taking the time to pay attention to her and supervising her like they should have been this is a form of child abuse and or the word pull kill um but i also have the word accident so i'm thinking um when the word kill comes up that's what i'm trying to get at here it can be referenced as kill due to poor supervision um that's like someone drinking and driving and you know you're drinking and driving and you hit somebody head on with a car and you kill them it's your stupidity that killed them not with an actual weapon um, the car is the weapon uh, but with your physical hand with, with a weapon and I think that's what they're trying to get at here they she was killed but in a way that is a, a form of neglect um, I just don't know what the word pull also rock would come into play. Um, pull could have a different meaning, but I'm going to leave that for open discussion for whoever wants to, um, look into whatever, you know, came through tonight. Um, so this is the video on Summer Wells and I feel a little bit better talking about it because... It really broke my heart not to take it but I also when I say I'm doing a case I need to be the one that keeps my promise and finish it finishes it until it's done I do not case hop I call it case hopping to where I go from case to case to case to case without a beginning or an end it has to be it has to begin and end no matter the ending it has to end and when I'm not done I don't stop until I'm done and this for me was just so that someone could know her story and get to the bottom of it. That's what I'm being told, get to the bottom of it. Um, so this is a, a very horrible case of neglect. Um, to me, these people should have never had children. They didn't take care of her in, in she wasn't clean, she, her hair, um, in the video her hair is very short. 
that's not because they wanted to, she wanted her hair cut. Uh, no little girl wants their hair cut short like that. She would have had head lice. Um, instead of taking the time to do her hair, they just cut it off and thought that that would, that would solve the issue. Um, um, I see her, I don't, I think this is a younger picture of her. I see her in these little cowboy boots. Um, but to me, I think that goes back to showing me that, uh, the way she was taken care of, she looked dirty. Um, but a lot of kids play in the dirt at young ages. They, they're children. I know when my kids were little, I don't believe in the whole phone and iPad thing. To me, they're supposed to be in the dirt. They're supposed to play. They're supposed to experience things like that. But to me, it's like I could see her dirty all the time, which said to, says to me, poor parenting, poor, poor health care. Um, she was dirty in the vision I just saw with cowboy boots on. It looked to be underwear, to be honest. Um, so she would have already been potty trained in some way. Um, hair was still short. Uh, but she would have been outside. It wouldn't be a picture inside. I don't know uh, what mother lets their female daughter uh, be outside in underwear and cowboy boots. Um, I can see a bathing suit. I can see a diaper. I could see a pull up. But to me, this is like a very careless, like she wasn't dressed today. She didn't get washed today. Um, just a very poor, poor parenting lifestyle and I think they got so used to it that they didn't care about certain things the word dull mad parent dad is coming from this side. Now, well can mean her last name and it's coming through as well or the word well, as in the water well. Um, do I know that definitively? No, I'm not doing a spirit session. I'm just doing what comes to me through channeling her name. Um, and my spirit guides work very closely with me. I deeply appreciate them. Um, but again, this is the end of my video. And I needed to speak on her behalf because... I needed people to know she wasn't alive in that backseat of the car. Or vehicle, whatever vehicle she had. And... The mother needed to place that video in some way because she needed to say, hey, my daughter was with me at that time. She needed to make a timeline, more or less, to make herself look not guilty. And it, from her being such a poor parent, the father being a poor parent, and I don't mean money-wise poor, I mean these people really should not have had kids. Getting this word like a Bryce or a Brock. Like maybe a Bryson or a Bryce, like shorthand, um, or a Brock. Um, or it could be Rock, um, but I have already got Rock very clearly, so I don't believe it's that. I feel like this is a name of some sort of a male. But sadly, this is um, very, again, poor, poor parenting. The outcome was an inevitable, no matter what, at some point in this little girl's life. And it's sad because she didn't have much of a chance to begin with. This was going to be her fate in some way. And sadly, it's, it's, a, very, it's a very sad outcome that, to this day, the mother is not even remotely worried or sad about it 
but she said she, she's she's afraid she's not sad in any way she's afraid she's gonna be caught the father's afraid the grandmother is afraid if the police were to speak to the grandmother alone your case would be solved your case would be solved that grandmother will fold like a, a deck of cards because she did the hiding they planned it out to call and it's really awful that anybody would help shield these people because I'm seeing I'm seeing a um I'm seeing almost like a that tell that's my sign for my symbol for uh, people are sh some people are shielding them I don't know what that means in a way I guess you could say almost like protecting them almost but shielding them almost uh oh I see a cross I don't know if that means they're church going folk or uh, they're trying to hide behind the church in some way. I'm not too sure what that means. Uh, um, okay. Cross, 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 cross. Cross, now cross could mean um, like in Ebony, Ebony Noble's case where she was found, she was across the way. Um, she could mean, that could mean, I mean, I'm sure these police have searched extensively in areas. Now cross, I believe that does have to do with maybe the shielding process that I'm being shown. Um, she's using certain organization, I would call it church organization to shield her from, oh, making her look a certain way, I guess you could say, or the word cross as it could be somewhere as a cross from something, something that is in view and nobody really knows, which is very difficult if I'm not doing a session. Um, but this is the end of my video. I hope this can help clarify some things for people. I know some of it does sound confusing. I am half asleep here. I'm very tired, but a lot of things came very clearly and it's sad that that little girl is out there somewhere. I don't know what lake means. I wonder if they mean across across the lake. I'm, I'm not too sure. Um, I'm not too sure where she's from. I'm not too sure. I know somebody said she's from down south way. Um, Okay, thank you. Um, but I'm going to end this video. This was me speaking out for Summer Wells and the horrible tragedy she had to go through and the awful part of her parents just being so neglectful. Um, I do not name people in my videos for anybody to harass, to hurt, to, to go after, so please do not do that. I am only doing my type of job that I do. I have always done. Um, the police will figure it out. They will get caught. Um, there are tip lines. There are so many ways that you can contact the police. There are so many things that you can do to help Summerwell's case. Um, so please just do things legally. Do not do not, don't go digging without proper notification of the plea to the police. Always make sure you're do, doing things legally. Because if you guys find anything of Summer Wells, a piece of clothing, a shoe, everything will be thrown out of court if you go illegally digging and doing things. Always speak to the police first. They will find her. So this is my video on Summer Wells. This is just a general conversation about her, of what came through for me through when I saw the video and as of right now. I wish her case the best. I hope that they find her. Um,
I'm going to give one last piece of information that just came through. Um, I don't really know. Um, I'm just, I guess I have to draw it, I suppose. I don't think I'm going to explain it too well. I saw a, a symbol pattern. Um, I'm assuming that this is some sort of, um, I'm gonna say almost like a rock pattern. This to me looks like a pattern of, um, it's like a, a symbol of, you know, like a design on a rock or something. I'm a poor drawer in some aspects. To me, this would be some sort of symbol that I'm being shown. And I think that's important in some way. I don't know what, like I said, I can't do this case. I am working on a case, but I do want to apologize ahead of time that this was not a spirit session, but I did want to help her. And I now my conscience is clear that I spoke on her behalf. So thank you everybody for listening. Thank you for looking for her. Thank you for supporting the case in any way and in keeping involved. And when you help a family of a missing person, the deed that you are creating in the spirit world is so huge and so wonderful of you. You don't understand what you're doing, literally. It feels good here, but up there, you matter. You matter to them because you're helping. And those, those deeds do not go unforgotten. So everybody, you have a good night. This was the video on Summer Wells of the backseat video. Have a good night. Happy Easter and happy Ostara.